How many of you have made a 2D game and you have trouble with the collisions? For the most part, uh, I used to use the bounce command and my character would bounce off the wall, but if the animation was walking, sometimes my foot would walk into the wall and I'd get stuck. So uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to fix that using no programming. I'm going to take an existing game called Pencil Wars and fix the collisions in it. This game was made by my cousin Jack Hemming and full credit goes to him. I just took the game and made it multiplayer and also fixed the collisions. So let's hit play and see what we got. So we have our characters and we try to shoot these scribbles as we make our way to the scribble queen. And for the most part the collisions seem to work oh really good. You bounce off the wall, but as you just saw, if I if I turn while I'm close to the wall, I can get stuck. And sometimes I can get permanently stuck. It's kind of a pain. So I'm gonna fix that here. And what we, what you want to do and no no this is how to fix it without using professional coding. It's just like a workaround. As we're going to look for our, our character sprite, I want to duplicate that. I'm just going to call it player one box. Because you'll have to do this for both players if you're making a multiplayer game. Then I want to edit the sprite. And you'll see here that if you can recognize the pencil and then we have the character and what I want to do is put a box around the character it doesn't have to encompass the full character and then I want to delete the sounding the surrounding pixels hit OK don't center the sprite and don't crop around the square just hit OK and then we're done with that now go to objects and find out where your character is. For player one, you want to duplicate that. Player one box. Connect the sprite we just made. Hit OK. And then we want to go to open up player one box. And we want to get rid of. Wait a second let's go let's mess around with the player first so open up the player and you want to delete all the collisions and anything that deals with control but not not the firing don't get, don't get rid of the firing see don't get anything that gets rid of image and animation speed but you can get rid of things that get rid of the animation now of course your coding in your game would be different um, we want to get rid of no we want to get rid of the speed there and mo most of the time people put their controls in the events get rid of that for, for me I put all my controls in the step event so I'm going to get rid of that and then hit OK. Now you want to go back to the player one box and you want to get rid of the shift key or anything that deals with firing. We don't need the alarm. We don't need things that change the animation and we don't need to transform the sprite we don't need this and now for the keyboard you want to keep the controls and for me since I have a variable set for facing I want to change this to player dot facing that's the player I have there because I don't want the little sprite box to face I want the player to face Just gonna copy and paste that to all my facing. Okay, I'm gonna make this invisible, and we're done. I'm gonna save that, but for now, I fixed a little bit like animation and a little few other things that I can't. I don't have time to show you, but 
for the most part, the, what we just did will fix any collision. So let's hit play and see what our collisions are like now. You'll notice my pencil now goes over the wall. I'm still using the bounce command. But look at this. I could turn and I can't get stuck. There's nothing you can do to get me stuck. Oh yeah. Let's see what's really going on here. So I'm going to go to player char one box and I'm going to make it visible. And there we go. You notice that my character is actually just following the box and the box is in charge of it, any collision and it works perfectly. Alright, have fun. It's, it's funny but this little game my cousin made I actually never beat it because it gets really difficult near the end.